If you've ever set foot on a weight room floor, you've probably heard guys touting the muscle-building benefits of creatine. Maybe you're even thinking about experimenting with the supplement yourself. The benefits, after all, are supposed to bring you more muscle and strength. So we turn to some of the smartest minds in nutrition in order to answer all of your questions about creatine. Their answers are refreshing if you've seen conflicting answers other, less authoritative, corners of the internet. The good news is that the supplement is well studied in academia and, if you're taking it correctly, that science largely considers creatine safe and effective. In short, creatine, when taken as recommended, delivers on its promises of strength and muscle gain. What is creatine? Your body actually makes its own creatine, by way of your kidney and liver, after you eat protein. Your muscles then convert creatine into creatine phosphate, which is then generated into adenosine triphosphate, which your body uses for explosive exercise. Supplement manufacturers have made creatine intake more efficient. Instead of consuming pounds of protein, all you have to do is take the nutrient in powdered, liquid, or pill form. What are the effects of taking creatine? Creatine increases the body's ability to produce energy rapidly. Creatine exists naturally in our bodies and helps fuel our muscles, which is why some people take it as a supplement to boost their performance in the gym. The mechanism is straightforward. If you're able to lift more weight in the gym, you're able to create more of the muscle fiber tears that your body can then repair and rebuild bigger and stronger after your workout. What are the short-term effects of creatine? One thing is almost certain. If you take creatine, you'll gain weight. Creatine is a quick way to add muscle, but not without some water weight. Most people gain between 2 and 4 pounds of water retention in the first week. But that water weight is good. Creatine's going to pull more water into your muscles, making your muscles bigger and fuller. What are the long-term effects of creatine? After that initial retention period, subsequent gains are due to the increase in the workload you can handle. Some guys think that if they take creatine and don't work out, they'll put on fat, but it isn't true. Creatine contains no calories and has no impact on your fat metabolism. So taking creatine and not working out is just going to lead to nothing. What are the best forms of creatine? Not all creatine supplements are made equal. If you're going to add a supplement in, make sure it's creatine monohydrate. A lot of other supplements out there will have a lot of junk that you don't need, and they'll be much more expensive. Powder is the way to go. Studies show that liquid creatine and creatine ethyl ester are unstable and break down in your blood system. Don't bother with them. Will creatine increase my power, strength, and body mass? Creatine has different effects on every individual. Some people just don't respond to creatine it's a genetic thing. If you've started taking creatine, you should know if it works for you in about a week. If your training volume increases, it's working for you. If not, you're probably a non-responder, and taking the powder isn't going to help you. Of course, a healthy diet is key to anyone's muscle building plan. If your diet is junk, there's no point in adding creatine. It's better to eat good sources of carbohydrates and lean protein. In the end, creatine alone will not make you a bigger man.